Hi there, CB and all the rest of you good people out there. I hope that you're all safe and sound and that health is with you. Regarding your question on uh, replace a component in different orientation, uh, meaning that you have a standard part, in this case a screw, that is originally in defined in a... Uh, according to along the y-axis uh, and you want to replace it with a screw that is um, actually oriented in its uh, original file along the z-axis uh, now uh, the default way of doing this would probably I will I would say that it would be to fix the uh, original standard part uh, however, I do realize that you might have used this screw in its current position in uh, several parts already, and hence you might need kind of a workaround for to solve your issue. Now, if they would be located in the, uh, uh, if the standard parts would be oriented in the same way, uh, the replace. Um, uh, in in the assembly would be uh, really easy. Now, uh, given the prerequisites here, and that you uh, might not want to change the orientation of the standard part as it is part of other uh, already existing assemblies using the same screws, um, you would kind of need uh, a workaround, I guess. And uh, well, uh, thought I would, I would uh, kind of provide one version for you here. So on the screen we have this assembly uh, with twelve screws, uh, and they have been uh, positioned without any. Uh, they don't have any uh, constraints, positioning constraints to them. Uh, so, and we want to replace them with a different screw. So, taking a look, look at the screws, we can see that the first one, according to the uh, coordinate system down here, is uh, uh, located and, and oriented along the y-axis. If we have a look at the uh, other screw, uh, we can see uh, that it is uh, oriented along the x-axis. So, we have a, a kind of an issue here. We cannot replace them um, just straight off. Uh, so what can we do then? Well, given that you would have a, uh, a coordinate system in the actual parts, which I believe that you have, you could use that for to uh, to replace your screws in a in a, in a little bit different way. So what I first want to do is I first want to replace the reference set so I can actually see the coordinate systems in uh, all these 12 components. So we got them there. What I then want to do is I want to create a wavelink and I want to wavelink the coordinate system in these parts. And I simply do a control A and it will uh, link all those. I can now hide my 12 screws if I like and uh, that's where it's at. So, uh, I then want to add a, a new component, which would be the replacement, really. And that would be the second screw here. And we have one down here. Uh, we actually want that little guy, uh, replace that little, gu little guy and put it somewhere up here. Uh, I think it would be en enough to just rotate that since we're just post positioning this according to the same as the original. That means that that little screw is now positioned accordingly, uh, except it's not uh, really in the uh, middle there. So, okay, so let's move this guy. Move. Let's move it out of the way and just to make sure that. We're going to put that guy on there to make sure it's centered and that should be a, a better position. Okay, 
So, remember, I created uh, 12 copies here. And uh, I'm going to use uh, basically pattern for this. So, uh, if I just create a simple uh, pattern geometry, let's say I grab that point there. And then I say that from that guy from there, let's do it from the point. No, from the point, existing point there. And then we use the uh, CCs here. And if I select all of them, it will create that pattern for me. So that means I can now uh, get my screw back and I, in assembly, create a pattern component. So I want to pattern that guy and I want to use reference. And I want to select the pattern, so let's select the pattern that I uh, did there before. Base handle, well, let's put that down there. And there you go. Uh, so you have all the instances there of that screw. Now, uh, I really don't need the 12 original ones, so I'm going to remove those. We're going to uh, get some issues here uh, as uh, the links will break. That means I can delete these guys. I don't need them anymore. And in addition, oops, in addition, we also have a pattern here uh, that uh, we no longer need. So we're gonna delete that as well. But we're only gonna delete the pattern and not the components themselves. So I'm now back in status quo here. So let's say uh, we're gonna pack these guys and we're gonna, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, uh, let's see here now, reference set, reference sets, uh, too close to the screen here, uh, model, there we go, and we have now replaced our screws uh, to where we want them. Um, just an example of what you could do to uh, kind of work around your issue there, uh, you need that pattern to, to kind of relocate those uh, screws and if you would have that from start uh, that would kind of help you. Uh, I hope that gives you an idea of what you can do. Uh, uh, obviously the easiest way would be to reorient your um, uh, the screw in, in the uh, replacement uh, part there. Uh, so that has the same or orientation as the original. Then you could just use replace and, and it will do it automatically for you. Okay, uh, so that was a workaround for you. I hope that it might give you an idea what you can do. And uh, that's all for me for now. So over and out from Fred. Bye for now.